I don't get many visitors out this way. A delivery droid, a roosting thranter, the odd sail speeder. Momentary distractions, not always unwelcome. I've never had the pleasure of a Jedi's company for my afternoon recess. I have a sealed tin of Jeru tea awaiting such an occasion. Very well. We'll pretend you've come all this way without already knowing the answer, and I'll humor you for the sake of civility. To what do I owe this visitation? Then you haven't been told nearly enough. It's been nice to have made your acquaintance. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to attend to. Age and infirmity have a way of narrowing one's concerns. My health is failing, and I'm afraid that conventional medicine isn't up to the task of stopping my inexorable slide toward oblivion. This is the place I've chosen to die, should I fail to synthesize an elixir. I'm nothing if not a survivor. You have greater troubles on your mind than the travails of an old man. But if you want my help, I want yours first. Assist me in discovering my cure, and you'll have more than my gratitude. I need biological samples, both raw materials and unique specimens. Bring the more common items whenever you have some to spare. As for my special needs, take these collection probes. Follow Thorn's broadcasts. They'll deploy their spike anywhere a Rat Ghoul outbreak is detected. Activate my probes in the Rat Ghoul's tunnels, and they'll gather cultures I may be able to use. You needn't worry. I'm in no danger of becoming a mindless beast. Only a corpse. Good luck. I'm still short on raw materials. I'll need those as much as the samples to make progress. Perfect. Thank you. I'd say I've got about half of what I'll need to carry me through. Perfect. Thank you. My stores are fully stocked. All we need are the right samples and a cure will be within our reach.
I received signals from my probes indicating a successful harvest. I need to run some tests to see whether these samples will help my condition. It was a good effort, but these samples don't possess the properties I need to continue my research. We'll have to try a different source. It may be our final option. I fear there's only one place we can still find it. A Sarlacc. Any creature consumed by a Sarlacc is slowly digested, alive, over a period of time long exceeding its natural longevity. The probes I gave you should be able to traverse a Sarlacc's digestive tract safely, provided you deploy them nearby. In the event they can't, well, more invasive action may need to be taken. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. It appears my predictions proved accurate. I'll have to count my lucky stars tonight. Too true. Let's see what you've pulled from the jaws of death. The moment of truth. I don't anticipate a volatile reaction, but a little space might do. Warm, but not unpleasant. Pulse elevated. No swelling at the injection site. That will do. Some of my cells are showing signs of restoration. The gene therapy appears to be working. This was a nice place to escape, but I don't think retirement suits me. Not yet. I'll join you on Odessan once I've swept the traces of this life away. Commander, I recently had the pleasure of making introductions with Dr. Eckerd Loken. Another worthwhile find. Well done as usual. A brilliant geneticist, boldly riding the bleeding edges of both biomedical and genetics research. And such a warm and pleasant personality. Truly a treat to work with. But Ego is insisting upon confining the good doctor to military duties. I need your help in swatting his grubby little paws away. I can understand Ego's logic given Loken's extensive history with Imperial intelligence. But from the moment I saw Ecker, it was painfully obvious that art was his true calling. Given Ego's upbringing, I would frankly have thought him better able to understand this sort of thing. Yes, I knew you understood. 
attached to these things. It is why we get along so well. Very well, then. I will get back to work. I was just consulting with Loken about the tolerance for genetic mutation in sentience. You see, a prototype cloaking generator we've been developing has a side effect of inducing genetic mutation. I was about to abandon it entirely. But Loken's work has shown that most sentients have a surprisingly high tolerance for alteration before truly harmful mutations manifest. Quite fascinating, really. Apparently, I've been overly concerned. Much better than the humidity on droned cars. Commander, Ogre Rob just sent me a hollow claiming you've authorized a dual assignment for Loken, that he'll be spending half his time in the research lab. Tell me the HUD is making this up. I understand he knows a lot about genetics and whatnot, but splitting his time with research work is going to really undermine us here. Understood, Commander. It's your call to make. If there's nothing else, I'll be getting back to work. <laughs> 